Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is The Cigars. I've been away for a long time, so uh, let's light one up. So first off, my apologies for not posting a video that much. Uh, I was hoping to do a video every week. Unfortunately, I was very busy with a couple of things uh, and, and I just couldn't do it. So um, yeah, you may have seen my Instagram also not posting a lot of uh, photos from my cigars. I've been too busy for it. But today I have something special to review. Some of you may recognize it. Uh, it's, it's quite popular on Instagram. And it is a case for Peter James. It's a Canadian company. And well, let's review it. Let's see, let's see if it's really that good and if it's worth it. So first off, let's see what it is and what you can fit in it. So as you can see, it is quite a handy thing. You can put a lot of cigars in it uh, and all your accessories can also fit in it. So let me stop the video right there. Because when I made this video, I had the case for like a day and a half. I was quite excited about it because I brought it with me to a friend when I was going to smoke. And I was happy with it because all of my things could fit in it. Very good. Very good, because I really miss that in all the other cases. But let me break it down to a couple of points I want to talk to you about, because uh, that first video was way too excited, and now I used it a lot more. I brought it with me when I went away for a weekend, and I have a lot more to talk about. So, one of the things is, how does it protect your cigars? And that, I think, is my biggest point, because Although I really love how it looks, feels. The, the leather outside is really, really thick. Feels really, really, yeah, how do you say it? Protecting maybe. But the big downside on it is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's flexible. It's completely flexible. So what means is when I put my bigger cigars in here, there is literally nothing that protects them. My cutter and my lighter are on this side, so they're also uh, are being punched into my cigars. And when you bring it with you, uh, like I did the first day, I'm going to a, uh, a friend of mine, or when you go into a terrace or something like that, you just have to bring a couple of cigars and your accessories for one day. It's perfect. You just keep it next to you on your seat. The cigars are well protected uh, at that moment and everything is fine but as soon as you have to bring it with you with other luggage with other things or your girlfriend or your wife is going to put it in her purse I'm not trusting it because I don't know what is going to be on top of it and this is the case I normally use you, you know this you, you've seen this on my Instagram if you follow me it's very simple, it's absolutely not beautiful, it's just a simple case. I'm just doing this for a reference. I can put some cigars in it, I can uh, zip it up, I can even throw with it because it will protect my cigars. And that is not the case with this. So, uh, on the side of protecting the cigars, it's a no for me. How about the looks? Well, I really like it because you can customize it completely. Uh, the guy who I borrowed this from, my friend, French Cigars, check him out on Instagram. And by the way, thank you for letting me borrow it. He has a uh, nice brown edition with a little bit of black details in it. Very simple, very classy. I know there's one with, uh, or maybe more, with all black and red details. I know there's one in Holland also, and I have to say, very nice specs because I really like that color combination. So 
on the outside and on the inside, the, the look of it is very nice, very nice. Uh, sorry for that. But how do you keep your cigars on the right, right humidity? That is also a problem for me. Once again, when you bring it for a day, it isn't a problem. When you bring it for a weekend or even a week, and if you don't smoke a lot of cigars, you want to bring five nice cigars with you for the week, by the end of the week, they're all dried out. There is no possibility to keep them moist, uh, humid. Uh, you can put the little bag in it, but well, it isn't air sealed. So for that, you can, I think, better use a cigar, uh, the, the briefcase type of thing that really seals, or the, the case that I am bringing with me, there is a little humidifier in it. That works. Also, not for a long period, but at least that works. So. That's a, that's a bit of a downside for me. How about the money? Well, if you live in Holland and you want to order one, you have to order it from the, the guys in Canada. Uh, again, the, the, the guy who borrowed me this one, he had to pay 450 euros before he got it here. You pay a lot of money for the case, I believe around 250. Uh, it's not too much. I think that's a, that's a reasonable price if it's just 250. But then come the taxes, then come the shipping cost, and then comes the, 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 the customs who also want some money for it, and you end up spending around the 450 euros. And you can buy a lot of nice cases for that money. So for 450 euros, I would definitely not buy it. But if you live in Canada or something, or in America, all the costs will be a lot lower, and I think included with the shipping is will be around 300 euros, better price. But now, uh, because I posted on Instagram that I'm going to do another video about it, uh, the, the, the guys who, who make this, they contacted me, they sent me a message about uh, a couple of the flaws that they uh, discovered while uh, making uh, these cases because they, they are already making it a pretty long time and one of those things is um, uh, the, the, the protection like I already said they now have a protection piece of wood or metal or something you can put in it it's around 55 euros and that will protect the cigars a bit more because then one side will be hard that, that is that is a good solution not a permanent solution I think but it is better but I think it's a bit on the downside you have to pay 55 euros for it because I I think so eh, you, you can disagree with me that's fine it's always fine but I think this needs to be hard already standard but okay that's my thing but yeah 55 euros again so yeah not everybody is happy with that I know a couple of people who, who have this and uh, not everybody is really happy with paying another 55 euros extra, uh, what is Ex, uh, the tax and the shipping cost and all that thing. So probably another good 100 euros. Yeah. Um, and what was my other point? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, the inside, the leather on the inside. Here is the, behind the big thing you put the cigars and the leather is in my opinion, a bit too rough. They also said that to me, to me in the in the message, they changed it now with, because this is the first generation. They told me the new generation has softer leather. I think that's good because this leather sometimes it heckles up the cigar. It, 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 pieces of the cigar can get stuck behind the, the little bit rough leather, and it can ruin the cigars. But apparently they changed it. I don't know yet. Uh, as soon as I will find somebody or someone with a, a new generation of this, I will try to borrow it and I will make a new video, a short video about the upgrades for you. Because the times I posted, a lot of people coming in and they really want this case. So um, I hope they really fixed it up because I think you can sell a lot more. People really like the, the outside and uh, the looks of it. By the way, me too. So, in conclusion, a couple of downsides, a couple of plus points. I've, the really big plus is that you can put all your accessories in it. I don't know any other case that has the proper space to put your lighter and your cutter 
that really protects the lighter and the cutter from scratching and you can put your cigars in it because I like that I don't have to put everything in uh, different pockets when it's summer I don't have a jacket or anything with me and this is just perfect so good job Peter James couple of flaws but I hope they worked it out on a new one and uh, good luck with it so now I'm going back to the old video because I'm going to announce the winner of the first giveaway so uh, see you there next subject is the giveaway everybody is waiting for it uh, because uh, well this is yeah, this is DuPont set, everybody wants that. Um, I've reached my 26k on my Instagram, so the, the first DuPont piece is going away. Um, here I have my iPad with uh, the hashtag why your cigars never burning. Uh, I'm going to scroll through it, like you see right now, not watching uh, the, the, the pictures. Um, I know I said you had to repost it and do all that stuff. Well, then it's <laughs> not a lot of people did that. So um, I'm just going to pick out uh, somebody who uses my hashtag. And if he's a follower, then, uh, then you're lucky. So here it goes. This guy is the winner. So, top. I don't know, but uh, you won. So uh, let me know. Give me a, a DM on my Instagram and uh, with your shipping address, and I will make sure it comes to you as soon as possible. So the other giveaway is still going on for the, the YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget that. Make sure to subscribe on my videos, and that's the only thing you need to do. Yeah, be active on it, but make sure to subscribe, and you have a chance to win it. So um, I hope to post another video soon. Thank you for watching again, and uh, smoke on.